8 p.m. Eastern time, Saturday night. We also have the ACC championship coming out of Charlotte, Bank of America Stadium, Louisville, and Florida State, the Seminoles. And this game is going to be entertaining for sure. Uh, Louisville is 6-6 six and six against the spread, and Florida State 7-5. and five. The spread opened at 3.5, so Vegas got Florida State by 3.5 three, three point favorites. It's down to a 2.5. The over-under is 51 is where it opened. It's down to 47 and a half. Uh, the money line opened at Louisville plus 139 and FSU minus 168. And now that has moved to Louisville plus 115. So closing, really closing in there. And FSU minus 140. Um, <clears throat> that is interesting for sure, uh, the way that is trending. So pay attention to that. Okay, so let's get into some common opponents. So Boston College, Miami, Virginia Tech, Duke, Pitt. Obviously, the one that jumps off the screen is the Pittsburgh game. And that is uh, that, that is Louisville loss, right? 20, um, 21-28, and then uh, Florida State won 24-7. Now, all of this is like, as I look through Florida State's, I look through all these common opponents, I look at how Florida State has done, I can't help but think about Jordan Travis and what he means to these football games, right? When your quarterback goes down, your defense is on the field more often because your offense is usually less efficient unless, and again, this is like normal. In normal situations, in most situations, the backup quarterback doesn't come in and just become all of a sudden your offense just doesn't miss a beat and you're balling. You're usually a possession, two possessions, a couple possessions less per game. Some, and if they're not playing well at all, it's it's many possessions. It's or it's um, you know it's three and out instead of maybe having a couple first downs. And that happens three or four times throughout the game. That makes a huge difference with the time your defense is on the field. Florida State is very fortunate. They have a great defense. They have a great, very stingy defense. Okay, but as I look through these games, and I go through and I go through this, Florida State, the defense, gave up twenty nine to Bo or twenty nine to Boston College, and twenty to Duke, twenty to Miami, and as I as I'm looking through that, I'm wondering what those numbers would have been without Jordan Travis. Right, I th I think undoubtedly I could say those numbers would be higher, be just by pure the pure number of extra time that defense is going to be on the field um, at the end of the day offense has an advantage they know the play they're running and if you're a good offense then you have the advantage and so I think right now I look at Louisville they put up 56 points on Boston College uh, 38 on Miami I mean that's a this is an offense that that can absolutely play some football and their defense is good too uh, very good as far as scoring defense goes um, as well, which we're going to get into now. So scoring defense, um, scoring, sorry, we'll go scoring offense, 38-8 for Florida State. Again, that's with Jordan Travis, though, um, and 33 for Louisville. So, what you know, what are we taking away here is is there's a lot. Last week, Florida, Florida State did not look great to me. Rock fight, yes, you won. Um, you pulled it out, swamp, tough place. You got your credit for your run. Tate Rotomaker's got to be much better this next game. It's going to have to be much better this next game. Now, if it comes down to a close football game, field goals, right? Florida State's going to have a huge advantage there. You know, I, I could definitely see that happening. But Florida State, here's here's the way I think. Here's the way I think the Seminoles need this game to go. You're going to have to lean into that rushing attack. Trey Benson is going to have to do some things. You're going to have to get away from your tendencies. You guys are a 56 and a half percent pass passing uh, to running 43.5% run. Um, and you're going to have to be probably 60% run or more. Or Tate Rotomaker is going to have to have a really good game and not beat you, right, and not beat you. And maybe that happens. Louisville's a good defense. Um, if, if, if you guys can establish the run, it'll be good. If you can't establish the run, it's going to be a long night, I think, for the Seminoles. So, again... And I, I think Johnny Wilson, Keon Coleman um, are going to have to have really big games, really big games. 
Um, I think the, the FSU, your defense, I, I called it elite last week. I still think it's elite. It's just even an elite defense, if it's on the field enough, nights can get long. So my prediction is um, that the Jordan Travis loss is going to be too much. And listen to the stats that we don't have in this game from him is 2,745 yards passing, 64% completion, 20 touchdowns to only two interceptions. And he also had 176 yards rushing and seven rushing touchdowns. So hurt you with the feet too. Um, I think the Louisville run defense is going to stop the Florida State ground attack, which is going to make it very hard for Tate Rotomaker. I don't think he's going to be able to beat that Louisville secondary. And I think Louisville is very balanced. And so as long as Jack Plummer doesn't beat them by making a bunch of mistakes, which he can, he can, he can make some mistakes. So that could be something to look out for. I have Louisville winning outright 21-17 and advancing to um, a New York Six Bowl. Sorry. So they will be the ACC champion and they will get into a New York Six Bowl. And I'm sorry, Florida State, but I think this is where the magical season um, comes to an end. You will be in a New Year's Six Bowl, but I do not think you will make the playoffs.